Tony Samuel, Southeast Missouri State University. Give us your general thoughts on the upcoming season. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to it. We've got a, uh, a new quarterback situation. I feel like we've got a kid by the name of Kyle Snyder that's going to do some things that uh, will help us. He's going to be surrounded with more talent than we've had in the last couple of years with, with experience. And I feel like we need to go on the road and win some games. You have a new quarterback this year, as you've mentioned. Tell us about this position. We, we lost a great quarterback. Uh, Matt Scheibel did great things for us, played four years for us, three years starter, actually three and a half years. And uh, this is the first time in a long time that we're going with a new guy. And uh, we're very fortunate to get Kyle transferred in from Ohio University, running the same package or very similar. And uh, we're going to open it up, but I feel like he's going to be our starter, and we're going to open it up for a couple other people to challenge in the fall. But uh, he, he did a great job this spring for us. <clears throat> Your linebacker, Blake Pfeiffer, was named the OVC Preseason Defensive Player of the Year and to the Buck Buchanan Award watch list. Tell us what, what he brings to the team and defense. Well, you know, Blake, Blake, first of all, I love those wrestlers. He's a former state champion uh, wrestler coming out of high school and a great linebacker, great, great personality for the position, works hard, uh, everyone listens to him. Uh, preseason is preseason. Blake knows uh, what he had to do. He put in some great work for us in the off season, and uh, we just have to go let him go play now. What do you like most about your team this year? We'll find out more through fall camp. Fall camp really defines teams, especially when we're, we're counting on maybe four, five, six maybe kids that weren't part of spring football. Uh, I think we had a great summer. A lot of people participated in off-season training, and now we just have to see what happens from here. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? We, we always feel it's important to do us first. And uh, so, one, I want to see the chemistry that's developed through the spring. And then uh, the big challenge, like I mentioned earlier, is, in my opinion, is winning some games on the road. Uh, we want to always win all our games at home, but we really want to accomplish some wins on the road this year. What are your general impressions of the OVC race this year? Getting tighter and tighter every year. It really is, you know. Um, I don't, I don't see any easy games. I really don't. It's been like that for a few years. It's gotten like that more and more as the years have gone on. Uh, I don't see any this year. What will it take for your team to be in the championship hunt this season? Well, you know, typically you have to start uh, early when you get into conference play. It seems like if you get a good kickstart in this league, it does help. Uh, this is not a very deep uh, league. We have to stay healthy, and that's very, very important. And, uh, you know, defense does win championships, but our style of offense, we have to establish our style of offense in every game we play. Tell us a little about your schedule and how it plays out for your team this year. Uh, you know, I like it. You know, you know uh, we always have to take one of those long trips, meaning either Eastern Kentucky or Jacksonville. We'll go to Jacksonville this year. Eastern Kentucky will come to us. We've got some really stiff competition at, at home this year. Uh, with, I mentioned already, you know, it's so important this year to win on the road. You know, last year we were 1-5 in conference play on the road. And uh, we need to get out there and get it done out there.